Hey everyone and welcome to It's Always Sunny in Birmingham, episode... You no, know, it's pissing it down right now. Episode 3. Uh, there's no real uh, indication on the screen that it's always sunny in Birmingham because this was kind of a real quick thing to try and be consistent with the weekly uploads of this podcast. Uh, it will be better next time. The music you're listening to is the dubstep, re- dubstep remix of um, Dearly Beloved. Uh, it's from Kingdom Hearts, and the playlist is for the rest oh, of the videos. Kingdom Hearts, that, that really shit game. Oh yeah, totally, man. Shut up. Anyway. Is it that, that game that's going to come out in like, 2020 now because of Marvel? Yep, yeah, pretty much. Anyway, so today we're going to go over the news of the month-ish, and then also the a Q&A about questions that we, and we've seen online that other people have been asking about the Switch that we think we can answer. Okay, so let's start things off uh, with something I don't Hang care on. about. Let me find the um, news because I'm really, we're, we're really professional. I've got it obviously all lined up. On no, my it's, it's, it's fine. I'll, I'll even give the title. Uh, Halo Wars Two was released a few days ago. Uh, if you like strategy games, I suppose that's good. Um, I, I, I've paid for it. I've downloaded it. Um, it's good. I've got it on PC because it actually works, quite, runs quite well on PC. Um. I haven't got it on Xbox because, well, I've traded my Xbox in. I'm going to get a full, I'm going to get. There's nothing coming now on the Xbox between now and November. I want to get a Scorpio. Um, it's good. It's better than the first one. It's the campaign's a bit not as good as the first one, but it is one of the better. Hey, it's one of the better Halo games in a long time. It was also the first exclusive to come out on Xbox One in like a year. So, yeah, but it's coming out on PC as well. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah. That's true. No, but uh, that... how has the how has the critical uh, reactions been? Um. Okay, it's been getting like I think it's been getting in average like between six and eight. Um, six. Jesus. Yeah, but I think the, the, the six is coming from people who always like super critical. I'm not giving any industry names, obviously. <laughs> no, uh, I, I can I, I I can see that I can see that. I mean, look, the problem is it's. It's really accessible. If you don't like RTS, if you don't like RTS games, you will really like um, Halo Wars because it is really accessible. Don't matter who you are, it's an accessible game. Cutscenes look great. I mean, they're really rendered beautifully. Um, I, I'm assuming they're in engine rather than pre-rendered. Yeah, yeah. The only the biggest problem I, uh, I've had was you don't really require that much strategy to win in the later levels. Like it's pretty. So it's less of a strategy game, more of a just a point and click and uh, win game. Yeah, it's pretty anticlimactic and almost it gets repetitive. Like, okay. I mean, it's a good game. Don't get me wrong. It's not going. It's not going to make me like I'm not going to run out to butt people and say to them, you need to buy this game. But it's a fun game. You it's need a- an Xbox One for this game. Actually, it does play better on Xbox One, like multiplayer and stuff. Well. Oh. Presumably that's where they put the main servers. They've got to put some priority on the one, otherwise, you know, it's going to be an issue. Um, second on the docket is that Fallout 4 VR is a completely new game. Can you explain what you mean by that, Ale- uh, uh, Alessandra? Because that kind of contradicts what I know. <laughs> well, no, that was the official words of Todd Howard this week. This week. Um, which basically means we're going to be able to charge you 50 quid for it again. Oh, right, right, right. No, I thought that what you meant by that was just like meaning it's just a chunk of, you know, it's... It's it's not the whole Fallout 4 game. It's a new one we made. No, but they've just des- he's described it as um, no. He's actually come up with a few different things this week, which I think are really interesting. He says they've just des- people were worried that it was just going to be an add-on. No, the entire game, including all the DLC, is being so. He said you can play from start to finish in VR. The other thing is they're, they're working on. They're going to ship it apparently with several different modes of tr- transportation depending on which. A person finds most comfortable. I'm guessing it's going to be like teleportation onward. Yeah, pretty much that kind of thing. They're working on other ones as well, but it's going to be basically you're going to be able to choose what type of mode you want. So, if you do want onward style, you can do onward. But if you want teleportation, you can have teleportation. Pretty much whatever works, whatever floats your boat. I mean, it depends on how well it runs on our rigs, and because like we have pretty similar rigs. Well, I and still I'm... think they haven't confirmed it yet, but I still think they're working on the new engine because the old, the old engine can't handle. Yeah, I, I, I was gonna say it's just like I couldn't, I, I couldn't even run in Fallout 4 at uh, 90 FPS. Mm. What's the oh, next piece of news we've got? 
the next um this is a song with lyrics in and that really annoys me because it makes me speak louder uh, next is that Sony patents the Vita Lite Switch device, which we did cover a bit um, in our in, yesterday in our um, emergency podcast about the Switch. But this has people thinking, Sony, are Sony planning on some re-entry back into the... Um, the Vita space. I don't think they... I think possibly they're waiting to see what happens with the Switch, because I think Sony are aware of how much power the mobile market has. And the fact is, Nintendo dominate the, the handheld market, whatever you say about the Vita. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean... Uh, I think they're dominating the handheld market like Sony's dominating the hand... Like Sony's dominating the... Um, what do you call it? Um, home market. Yeah. Are you concerned about this for, like, two years... If it, like, is the next console they're in development in two years' time, they're like, look at this, it can run Uncharted 4 on the go. I Are you don't concerned, think, concerned not, about the Switch or that? I'm not worried because I don't think it will ever happen because I think Sony have burnt people too many times with handhelds and gadgets. And the, I think and it will, no, if they call it their main console. No, if they call it, if, if it's the PS5, then yeah, I, I, I wouldn't be pissed off because I think... Oh, happened, no, I'd be glad. I'd be glad that Nintendo has basically pushed to a point where I can now play PS4 games. Uh, sorry, PS4. If, if I can play, like, Last of Us 2 on in 1080p on a handheld... I'll buy that. I'll buy it tomorrow. Like, yeah, it's definitely kind of like a thing that's. Um... Yeah, um, I think, like I say, I think they've just done it because. I think what that even might be, you know, recently in Xbox, you can stream Xbox games through Windows 10 tablets and stuff. Yeah. Someone's brought out controllers for the Surface tablet and other tablets where you click them on the side. Yeah. If you're you're streaming an Xbox game. I think that's what it might be. I think it might be like official patent controller, like because especially now they've got rid of PlayStation Home. Uh, well, well now, PlayStation now. Now. And I they think... got rid of that for the Vita. They didn't get rid. Of that. That's still going to be on PS4. No, it's going on PS4. Apparently, they only charged it for the Vita. Oh, my well, TV's losing it. Yeah, TV's losing it. It's just uh, I think it's just going to work on the PS4 now. Oh, fair dues. No, but I, I, I'm interested in it. I. Not sure. I mean, like long term wise, yeah. I'm I mean, gonna. I, I can. I, I, I think long term wise, Nintendo Switch is gonna be the future of handheld. Oh yeah, no, definitely, Not definitely. Just handhelds, home consoles. It's gonna, it's gonna be that or VR. That's gonna be gaming. Well, I think it probably, it probably be both. Oh, you think both? Like, yeah. Ha- oh, <laughs> but VR and on the go don't really work very well. Yeah, but I don't. I think what it might be is you might, you might. It'll be like the Switch, but the the Sony dock will be more powerful. So when you plug it in, you plug your PSVRs plugged into it. Does that make sense? Yeah, no, I can I can I can you see PSVR that. when you're at home. Isn't um, Sony probably going to announce some new controllers for the PSVR at E3? Um, yes. Apparently, they've um stolen. I say stolen because um the person person who helped design this um Vive controllers. I read that on NeoGAF or Reddit somewhere. That one of the engineers that worked on the Vive controllers is going to work on. So that's basically what um, Oculus did with the uh, in- initial concept of the Vive. Yeah. <laughs> but to be fair, the Vive controllers are amazing. Con- yeah, yeah. No, I mean, I've heard the Oculus are uh, slightly better, and I think the new Vive controllers are going to k- shit out oh, of the touch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously, the, the Vive con- new, the new Oculus controllers are a lot better, but the also the fact is, when you people are bitching at how expensive the Vive was, when you bought the Vive, you got two controllers. Yeah, and it's also and the tracking as well. Like, the tracking, yeah, the tracking is same. way better. Yeah, like than... the tracking. Basically, it might be for, if Vive didn't have the tracking, I would have probably bought an Oculus Rift. Yeah, no, no, I, I, I think so. I mean, standing, I haven't played the Vive much recently because I've been very uh, busy with university work. And, uh, yeah. But, so, I still put my Vive on. When I do, it still amazes me about Oh, like... yeah, no, no. I mean, that's one of the best things about not playing it so often. Is that when I actually do go on for you know a go on onward or whatever, it's still just boom. Mm. You know, it's like this is a th- you, you keep forgetting that this is a thing that you have in your house, and it's just so amazing. Anyway, I don't know how that turned into a um, jerking off vibe uh, rant. Anyway, uh, for honor, I want to add also in I know it's not February, but in April we'll be having our one year vibe anniversary when we'll be talking about like the first year. And, and we'll also do a uh, vibe stream, providing that we get the green screen working properly. Which will be uh, which will be fun to do. I will play uh, probably Fallout 4 VR. 
Better be out by then. Better be out by then. It's coming out June. Yeah, they just said June, didn't they? Next piece of news: For Honor was released. I didn't, I didn't know that. I didn't know that happened. I didn't. <laughs> bu- I didn't buy it because I'm not very. I don't buy. Oh, I say that, but I pre-ordered Ghost Recon. Um, I didn't buy it because I played the beta and it was fun. And I bet you it's really fun. And if you yeah. don't, and if, if you already don't have a multiplayer game that you play a lot and you like For Honor, buy For Honor. Uh, but I play CS:GO. I would like to add also quickly. I'm really happy with what... Have you heard what Ubisoft have done with the DLC um, for, for For Honor? Isn't it, like, all cosmetic? No. Well, yeah, the part of that. But, you know, they've done... They've done what they've done. They've done a season... Um, Rainbow Six-style thing, which I think works really well, because I love this idea of a season... You know what I mean? Yeah. And actually, but you can unlock the season pass with in-game currency that you Yes, earn, yes. Which I think is great, because that way, you don't have to... I'm like, hoping they do that with Ghost Recon. Yeah, like... I think Mass Effect might be doing multiplayer. I heard like they might be doing like it kill twenty enemies, get a free gun. Do you know what I mean? I heard that somewhere, but I really give credit to Ubisoft for especially if they can push it and make it popular. And then like I don't know what they do, uh, you know. Because Rainbow Six was one of the best DLCs I've had played in a long time, just for the way it was handled. Yeah, I mean, I've been playing. I've been playing season two. Is is it out yet? Uh, not yet. But I'm going. Uh, ignore, ignore, ignore. I said that. Um, there was a beta. Uh, you might not have known about it, but there was a beta. Uh, the the new maps are really good. Good now, actually. I've heard. The next piece of news is a bit of an odd piece of news, but I want to get, hear me out. We play is ten years old today. Right. Well, Hey, today. That's interesting, yeah. It was earlier this week. I think it was like Tuesday this week. It was 10 years old. We Play was the shit version of Wii Sports that came with uh, when you bought an extra controller, right? Yeah, basically everyone got it because everyone bought another Wii controller. Yes. Is this going to um, be a point about how One Two Switch should uh, have done the same thing? What, come with Joy-Cons? Oh, wait, no, sorry. Um, I guess ARMS is probably better for it. But, but I want to raise this because I th- Wii Play was a great game, but it was... Kind of like the pinnacle of like for me what the Wii was about like the mini game party collection, and I mentioned this because I don't want the Switch to go down the same. I mean, I haven't bought a Mario. The last Mario Party game I bought was the one for the GameCube that came with the microphone. Do you remember that one? Yes. It came with a microphone. It's like it must have been two thousand six. You're on about the best Mario Party. Mario Party eight. No, sorry, yeah. Mario, no, Mario Mario Party seven. I'm gonna, I'm gonna Google it. Yeah, but like I'm just hoping like because the anniversary. Yeah, called... it's seven. Seven okay, is Mario... the best. Mario Party Star Rush is the best. You're a funny guy. Ah, yes, six is pretty good too. Anyway, I'm hoping that with uh, the new Mario Parties, they go back to them actually being uh, not. 20 games where you roll a dice. Yeah, so I think Mario Party could be re- Yeah, Mario Party 6 was the best one. I don't care what anyone says. Uh, 8 was, god damn it. 8 was the last truly good one as well. But uh, Mario Party 6, the only reason I'm saying I really want Mario Party 6, and I hope the 1, 2, Switch, I think the Switch would be great for Mario Party. Like, Yeah, I'm, well, I'm, all I'm hoping is that they do away with everyone being in the same cart. I want to go on. I, I want tr- classic Mario Party formula. You're all on. You all go your different ways. You all go get the stars. You all go fuck it, fuck with each other. Yeah. It's just that's how Mario Party should be played. And if they don't really, and if Mario Party 12 doesn't have when that, you, look, when you think about it, when you think about it, though, you, like, <clears throat> Mario. I mean, one two switch could have just been shoved into a Mario Party game in the sense. Well, of it, like, apparently it is in a way. Like I'm pretty sure you'll see like similar mini games in Mario Party. Wait, isn't Star Rush the latest one? Yeah, no, we do, that that doesn't exist, dude. Yeah, it does. No, it doesn't. We don't acknowledge that. Let me have, let me have a look at the videos. This. Don't acknowledge Mario Party 8. Um, no. Mario Party Star. No, the last... Oh, Mario... they're all together again. I was really hoping that they've goddamn separated them. What a, what, the last whatever. one was Mario Party 10, which was on the Wii U. Oh, 11 was the last one. No, 10, 11 is not out. Eleven does not exist. Ah, right. Wow. <laughs> the Mario Party Eight was pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, no, Eight was really good. I like, like, I, 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 hundred percent of it. Like, collected all the tickets, got all the little cute things to collect and stuff. It was but really going, good. 
But going back to the point of um, we play, mm. I really think Mario Party like kind. Of, I really wish they release re-release a we play type Mario Party game for the Switch relatively soon because what do you mean a we play type? Um, where it utilizes the unique control system. I think I think the Mario Party is gonna use it anyway. Oh yeah, but we play. What made we play bearable was the fact that it was very. I mean, on the right side, we will have one, two, switch to tide us over because it does have a going around on a board, and um, I don't know if you collect anything or collect stars or anything, but you do do mini games that are random based that way. Should we move on to the next piece? Yes, yes. We have plenty of switch stuff to talk about later, anyway. <laughs> um, man in Russia murders. This is the fun. Right, I want to add. I am sorry for my um, inappropriateness at this story. That I will just piss myself laughing. A uh, man in Mur Russia murders friend over AMD versus NVIDIA argument. And unsurprisingly, NVIDIA fucking killed him. Um, <laughs> I don't want to be a fan. I don't, I don't, I don't want to be a fan, but I wanna, I wanna, it's, an, it's the news segment. I, I want to be unbiased. So. Yeah, no, but I just think it's funny because it's it's like pretty much... It's absurd. I mean, it, I mean, it's terrible that someone died. It's just the absurdity yeah, but of it. Yeah, but the fact that it's A, Russia makes it funny. And B, that this is pretty much what would happen if you put like the Nintendo Switch subreddit, the PlayStation subreddit, and the Xbox subreddit in a room together and lock the doors. Uh, I feel like the PlayStation subreddit would like actually no, you'd have like half the people from each sub um uh, a PlayStation and Microsoft start infighting, like saying, yeah. "Well, actually, I have that as a second console." It's like, shut the hell up. <laughs> uh, but no, yeah, obviously it's terrible about the loss of a hu loss of a human being, and I'm sure AMD has its bonuses. You do get like four free games. With it, we are literally just using this as a point to shill uh, Nvidia. Yeah. Um, um, but yeah, you can. Th there's some downsides to AMD, and there's some upsides in the fact you get free games, and there's some downsides in the fact that it doesn't get supported as often, and there's some upsides in the fact that it's in most consoles, but there's a downside and it's not on the Switch. Anyway, we'll leave that one. We'll, that we'll, just... We'll, we'll just we'll, we'll, we'll leave that one. Uh, Xbox. Next exec one, it, 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 try and keep a straight face while I say, say this. Okay. All right. The Xbox, an Xbox executive says 2017 is one of the most exciting years for Xbox. Okay, tell me um, an exclusive that's coming out for the Xbox uh, that as, uh, from from between now and December. Go on, one. Crackdown 3 is rumored to be coming out in holiday 2017. Right, right, right. Uh, I was going to say scale bound, but that's obviously um, not I think Cuphead, the really cool 2D side scroller, is coming out. I think that's on PC. Yeah, that, 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 that's a true exclusive. Crackdown 3 isn't, though, is it? Yeah, um, no, that's coming out on PC. Exactly, yeah. So the only true exclusive it has is a really awesome 2D side-scrolling game that really deserves to be on the Nintendo Switch. On PS4. And PC. Yeah, I think they're talking about Scorpio. I, don't think, I, I still don't think the score Unless they've got a bunch of fun games coming out on the Scorpio, the Scorpio's going to be shit. I swear to God, if I see... I want to see fun games like Sunset Overdrive's like Tone at E3. If I see, like, them being all gritty, like, because it doesn't work out very well for Xbox when they go gritty for their first party titles. They're going to go really gritty. They're going to hit Halo 6, like, Halo 7 even. Oh, Halo 6, like, Halo 6. heavy this year. And they're going to show on the Scorpio running at 4K 60 frames per second. But I don't... I don't think it's running at native 4K 60 frames yeah. per second. And also, I'm not being funny, I don't see Halo 6 after the disappointment that was Halo 5 and Halo 4. I don't... I just think people are burnt out, uh, yeah. unless you're like a fanboy of Xbox, um, are burnt I'm, I'm out fanboy, on Xbox I'm IP. Xbox, and I'm burnt out by all the... Like, Bring back cameo elements of power. No. It was actually a really good game. At least port it. I want to play it. Cool. Um, uh, but yeah, but yeah um, I mean, I we'll... we'll interesting, like... I think maybe that means we'll hear a lot... We're in for a good E3. I hope yeah. so, because if it's all about stuff that's already been announced, then... If, forgetting, well, with, with everything we know publicly now, even the rumoured stuff, is still not, it's still probably one of the worst years for the Xbox, because there's not that many exclusive and games. And last but... year wasn't that great either. <laughs> true. That is very true. What's next? Ghost Recon Wildlands beta next week. Open beta, I should say. Yay! Is that a good thing? Are we looking forward to that? Uh, yeah. No, I'm. I'm gonna play it on. Um, I think I'm gonna play it on both for the sake of um, 
the ch uh, the channel. I'm gonna download it on the pro uh, for when I want to be casual, and then I'll d I'll have it on the PC as well. Yeah, um, I'm not really looking forward to it. Not gonna lie. So uh, massive, I massive turnaround from what you were, <laughs> what you said last week. Yeah, I play. I really enjoy it. The more I think about it, the more I think it's a good game. Just guess it when it's. Guess it when it's cheap. Like I also feel like it's gonna be another division. Yeah, if no, I tell you what it is. It's kind of like it's kind of like armor meets the division. Yeah, I mean, it, it, my issue with it at the moment is it doesn't feel very Ghost Recony. Yeah, well, yeah, it doesn't feel very Ghost Recony. But actually, it, if that's not the biggest problem, the biggest problem is it just seems a bit. Go to here, kill this guy. Go to here, kill yeah. this guy. Yeah, it. it, it, it I mean, it ticks all the thing is, it ticks all the boxes. Well, to be honest, we will have access to the story missions in the beta, and I think we should only probably some. We, uh, only some oh. of them, yeah. But we should probably reserve judgment on it until we, you know. Oh yeah, I know. But I kind of feel this, it's ticking all the boxes, but it's not doing anything that makes me think, shit. I need to get this over Zelda. I need to get this over Horizon. I need to get this over Mass Effect Andromeda. Horizon's an interesting one. I'm keeping my eye on. Because I, I, it, it looks really pretty, and I kind of want to get it just for looking at it on my pro. The leaked re reviews say it's amazing. Really? Yeah, they're, like, they're giving it 9s and 10. Okay, alright, I'll have to try and find a way of... Because I have like £20 left on CEX. Can't you start trading Neo once you finish it? Um, yeah, I can probably trade Neo once I finish it. I have or, finished... trade, or, or you could trade in Yakuza 0. Oh yeah, totally you could trade in Yakuza. Shut up. Um, I need to, I'm, I'm going to finish that today, actually. Uh, we, we've we played for enough to write the review. The review's going up. <laughs> I mean, it's already up, but the site isn't live yet. <laughs> it's going up soon. What's the next piece of news? Uh, next piece of news is that eShop purchases will be tied to a user account. However, this news, uh, I hate to try and uh, correct you, uh, it doesn't necessarily mean that it is tied to, you know, that it's going to transfer. All it means is that it's tied to your user account on the Switch. Yeah. So, so <laughs> we, if, we, we if, won't know until the next console if this actually means anything. Pretty much, like... Yeah. But yeah, it's a bit of an interesting news. We don't too early to say. Yep. The next one is... Call of Duty 2017 is going back to its roots, whatever that means. Whatever that... Well, no, that means is it's Medal of Honor style that inspired the Medal of Honor games. Or was the other way around. Either way, it's going to go back to World War One, and... Two. To, World War One or Two. And maybe they'll actually go for realistic guns this time. Unlike Battlefield 1 did. And I think maybe that could be interesting. Yeah, well, I'll give them that. Um... Yeah, I mean, it's a new COD. Uh, will I be getting it? Probably. I don't really buy Call of Duty because I'm not a huge Call of Duty fan. I liked Infinite Warfare. Oh, no, Infinite Warfare had a really good campaign. I liked that more than I liked the entire... I haven't, played Bas I haven't touched Battlefield 1 in months. And you know what? That's an issue. It's a really good multiplayer game. Overwatch is a really good multiplayer game. For Honor is apparently a pretty good multiplayer game. I've heard Division isn't actually awful. The issue is, though, if you already have a multiplayer game that you play, that's the multiplayer game that you play. Everything else is uh, everything else is pretty casual. I play Battlefield 4 more than I do Battlefield 1. I I am a CSGO junkie. I play at least six like four four games of CSGO a day. I don't have time to play my copy of Overwatch or Battlefield 1. <laughs> that's sad. That's basically how it is. So I feel like this is going to be like... I, but I think it's not going to be an issue if it comes to console games like Splatoon. I, did, I feel like I'll play more than I play uh, I've played Battlefield 1. I oh, yeah. But Splatoon's fun, though. <laughs> Battlefield 1 wasn't that fun, though. That was half the problem. Battlefield 1 was very pretty. <laughs> that, but, yeah, it was pretty, but the, the, the multiplayer was just... It's become a sniper's camp fest. I mean, that's what all games become eventually. Even... Well, no, no. I guess CSGO balances it well. If you go all snipers, you get screwed. Anyway, um... I mean, yeah, but anyway. Moving uh, on, Switch Round 2 is now sold out of multiple... Uh, wait, wait, is that the June one? No, um, basically all of eight... In a lot of pre-orders, a lot of retailers in England at least are saying... It's, it's Round June. 2 past the initial allotment of 2 million? Yeah. Okay, so we are looking at some record-breaking sales. Oh, yeah. you'll, be getting it, you'll probably be getting it April time. 
Uh, apparently it's June uh, for people in Australia, according to a video I watched. Are you the fuck one living in Australia? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Alright. Oh. oh. Yeah, you know, uh, it's pretty you... interesting. I still think Nintendo are obviously understocking. I don't think so. Two million is an under... A lot of people have like, said it's like, Oh man, they're understocking. Uh, two million launches isn't, uh, isn't enough. Uh, the PlayStation 4 sold two million launch month. This is launch day. <laughs> so we'd like to know how many they sell in 24 hours. I think they'll definitely break a million worldwide. Mm. But that's not that hard because I don't think they'll get. I don't think they'll get the, the two million because people will pick it up. Uh, probably pick it up like within three days. I think it's around the fourth day. We'll probably you'll be hitting the uh, pre-order like the cap. Yeah. But no, it's gonna be really interesting. Uh, this is a sick remix of uh, Gerudo Valley, by the way. <laughs> Do, 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 I think they won't reach two million until Mario Kart 8 comes nope. out. Nope, they'll reach it in first month. For first month because they've already that's, sold out. They've sold out. They've sold out of all of their pre-orders. That's why there's. That's why it was not rumored why they released it March 3rd because I know they said they wanted to. He said we'll we'll sell two million switches by the end of the financial year, which is the end of March, isn't it? So it pretty much gives them a a month. Yep. To basically get everyone to collect the pre-orders because the pre-orders are ready. Everywhere I know has said that if you don't get your pre-order within like 24 hours, they'll, give, they'll give it to someone else. Yeah, because the demand's there. Yeah, but yeah. So I, I don't think there's actually stock scarcity. Um, I don't believe that they don't do it for the amiibo. Uh, there's no way that they don't know how popular they are again. Mm. Uh, but with I the switch, that, with, with the switch, also, I think also with this, I think part of it, the problem is. I think people like games so are hyping up the scarcity to just to get think make people think shit. I need to pre if I want one, I need to pre-order it. Yeah, no, I mean like I don't think there is any scarcity though, and I don't think Nintendo's implying there is. Yeah. <laughs> they are they're shipping as much as they can make, and I think the console's doing very well for a console that was bundled together at the last minute. <laughs> and also for a cons for a and for a soft launch. A lot of people and for a soft launch. Because yeah. the, P the PS4's launch with its main launch, this is a soft launch, and it's probably going to outsell its first month sales. Uh, I reckon, in terms of global sales, it's too early to tell. Um, like, for, like, overall console life cycle. I, I think, think it's in the Wii U. I think it'll probably beat out the Xbox One by the time it's done. Oh, yeah. I think it could do... Uh, I think it'll probably do 3DS success. I think the Scorpio's going to sell horribly, by the way. <laughs> Yeah, I think the Scorpio is going to sell because the PS4 Pro is not selling great. It, well, I, I think it's shifted a million or something. Yeah, I know it's shifted a million, but the PS4 in the grand scale of things is not selling great. But, but if I, but like, if it, game, based on, yeah, yeah, based on current knowledge, like power or not, I would recommend the Pro over a Scorpio. Because of the games. Because of the games. Yeah, I don't think the score. I think the Scorpio is gonna bomb. I don't think it's gonna. I think it's gonna be an alternative thing, and then when they start making exclusives for it, then people are gonna have a backlash, and then they're gonna. I don't know what they're gonna do. Actually, it's gonna be interesting because there will be backlash. Anyway, should we go on top? Moving the on to the main thing, which we do every time because we are total Nintendo shills. Give us free stuff, and it's gonna be the Nintendo Switch Q and A. Here are ten also, questions. I went to game. Oh, wait, I want before we go. There. Can I just say, I went to game today, and I saw in their book section, you know, like, game guides, the Zombie U game guide for one pence. I bought it. Nice. I had one P in my bag, and I bought it, just for the lols. It was a penny. It was seriously a penny. I sent you a picture of it on Facebook, but it was a, it was a penny. I spent a penny on a book. Well, the game doesn't really need a guide, to be honest. But no, yeah. that was an amazing game, and I'm hoping Ubisoft brings something like that to E3. Yeah. Uh, oh. Especially if it's another really brutally, like, really gross trailer with um, God Save the Queen in the background, because that's probably my favourite trailer of all time. Yeah. <laughs> it was so good. Anyway, so here is ten questions people had after we tried the Switch. We'll try and answer them as good as we can. The first one is, what is the most comfortable gameplay mode? Uh, probably Pro Controller docks. Um, I'm gonna actually... No, I'm not gonna... We're not gonna use Pro Controller because Pro Controller's ne an extra. Oh, okay, then, then, then docked. I mean docked with the grip. Docked with the grip, yeah, docked with the grip. 
Uh, the I'm least, fine. the least comfortable, uh, I haven't tried it, but I'm assuming it's holding them sideways. And th that's, like, not, like, it's terrible to do it that way, it's just the least fun. Yeah, they're all perfectly normal, like... They're all, they're, they're all very nice feeling. Mm. Although I would argue that holding the arms, like, Wiimote, uh, Wiimote, uh, the Joy-Cons, like, Wiimotes and arms is probably the most extension, you know, comfortable extension, but it's not gonna yeah. cover that many games. Does the screen look good? Yep. Yep, yep. it looks really good, the, really crisp. Are the Joy-Con controllers too small? No. No, no they're not. Uh, we have a pretty mixture of sized hands. I think I have like medium. Like like other parts of my body, my hands are quite big. <laughs> oh. Uh, I've also, also, if you look online, a lot of people that big hands are mostly saying, uh, Blunty, I'm gonna use him as an example, because he does yeah. both negative and positive Switch videos. Um, he has quite big hands and he seems to say it's, you know, it's okay for playing. I wouldn't play it like consistently with just one Joy-Con. But it's playable for you know a few rounds of Bomberman, a few rounds of whatever. It's, it's great. Should you get one as soon as possible? That really just depends. Yeah. Do you like Zelda? If you like no. Zelda, uh, no, then buy one. I Zelda. If you like um, Mario Kart, probably because there won't be uh, uh, they might not be in stock in time to get Mario Kart day one. Yeah, <laughs> uh, if you and if you like just supporting Nintendo, then I'm oh, sure you've no, already pre-ordered no. one. Don't feel down if you can't get one because you're not missing out on much. That's what I'm gonna say. Like, yes, it's great being Mario, but like, it's not the case of sell your Xbox, your PlayStation to buy one. Well, you... I mean, like, if you feel the same we felt about Xbox One games recently, yeah, <laughs> then maybe but, but, sell your Xbox One. <laughs> what are three things you disliked? So that's a really hard thing to say because there was a lot of it. And you're not going to let me use the too close to the screen thing, because it's not a valid complaint. Um, okay, my three complaints, right, go I've got three genuine complaints. One, I thought that it, extended periods, I think holding the, the holding the device with Joy-Cons on the side it can be a bit awkward. I, need, I haven't played it long enough, but... And I think I, it's because it was in the grip. I yeah, mean, it was in, I think... Um, that's just one concern I've got. Other concern I've got is... Still, um, how to explain it? I've still got concerns with the online elements because we don't know that much. Like, I'm concerned how Nintendo really learned what people well, want. When it's when it's 20, I feel like we can only really ask them to have half learnt. Yeah. <laughs> so well, I think, I don't think there's going to be party chat outside the app. I think that's going to be a thing. I think some game, some games will have in-game voice act, uh, in-game voice chat, others won't. I think it'll be up to the developer to choose, which is good for third party games. I don't mind the app that much anyway, because uh, I'm 90% sure it's the takeoff processing power. Yeah. It's the save RAM. And mm. if that RAM gets to put to make pretty, uh, you know, fun of Switch games, I'm cool with that. And your third problem? <laughs> it's hard, isn't it? No. <laughs> Oh, I don't even know if it's a valid prob a valid problem. I I'm slightly, possibly very slightly concerned about how tough the screen is. It's um in, in in the sense is it if I accidentally drop it from my bed will it smash? Because my my I've done that with my phone before. My phone screen's smashed in half. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I've done it with my phone as well, and it's uh. Well, it's a HTC, so it's not awful. Oh, well, no, it was my Samsung. It was, my, it was an iPhone. But you don't go there. Wasn't, uh, what was I was going to say, wasn't an iPhone? <laughs> Next question. Wait, 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 wait. wait, wait. I, I, I'm going to do this. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be able to do this. I, I, I do have some negatives. Um, I feel like we should have heard something by now. And that's only because Reggie said we'd be told more. And if it's those little bits of information that have been set out, that's cool. But I'd just like them to confirm that. I, I still hope there's a direct, uh, not because I want to know anything more, just because I want to see a direct. They're really enjoyable. Um, I have a slight issue. Um, <laughs> fuck. I mean, like, I wish there was more games at launch, I guess is a valid thing. Although I wouldn't be able to afford them anyway, and even if I could, I'd probably only buy... Zelda, uh, Binding of Isaac. Oh yeah, I want to. Uh, I want to know if I Am Setsuna is a release date title. 
It is. It is. I wonder how much that is. Because I already have it on PC, but I'd buy it again for Switch. Yeah, with what money? I mean, some point. Some point down the line. I I'll get played at some point. I don't know. Uh, it's it's a really... I can't really complain about it until my it's only, out. Actually, my main problem is I'm starting to get slightly annoyed now about how much we... How many questions I still have when it's launching? Right, what what questions do you have besides VC, which isn't a necessity part of a console? Yes, it is for a Nintendo console. Yes, it is. Um, I'm. I have a. I'm not explaining it to you. But read articles, do, and stop defending Nintendo because you do do this. The fact is, it's two weeks, less than two weeks to launch, and there's a lot we still don't know about online, etc. And I think we should know about that by now because people should know everything about the future of the console before they purchase it so they can make an informed decision about actually yes it's great at launch but i don't know maybe online is not going to be worth it in for what i want well, down the line i mean online is understandable in some aspects but obviously because they're doing a free trial of the online till was it like after e3 yeah, i think probably e3 they'll announce the price and that's the price and then it'll be like the month after and i can understand like that's probably where they're going to really give the more information about the online because it's you know, the only game that they're going to use online, I think, Bomberman, uh, Arms, Splatoon, and Mario Kart, which will all use pretty basic online if they're like the old onlines. Yeah, like their, their online systems are already... Already kind of in, set in stone. Uh, I understand your concerns about the Virtual Console, but I feel like that's just because it's just going to be the same old standard SNES and NES titles launched with it, with maybe some N64 games. Yeah. Because I think it takes time to port the stuff over and they've been focusing hardcore on the actual Switch titles. Yeah. Um, so I think they're in development. I'm slightly annoyed that there's no like multimedia apps like Netflix. I, I know it's not the reason why you buy a console. No, no, I, 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 can, I can understand the annoyance there. Like, um, it's not hard to port Netflix over. Again, you're throwing around this. So good. It, it's not difficult to port Netflix over. But the Wii didn't, uh, uh, the, uh, the Wii's a terrible example, but the Wii didn't have it on launch. The Wii U didn't have it on launch. Um, the 3DS only recently got it. Yeah. Uh, so I think it's just gonna come in a few months. I think most multi multimedia apps come in a few months. Next question. Um, yep. Should I trade in my 3DS for a Switch? I traded in mine for a PS4 Pro. <laughs> um. I would. I would. Yeah, it's a, uh, I mean, especially if you have two of them, and I know this is, sounds like a thing that's uncommon, but it's not, right? Most, oh, people I know, most people I know have two 3DSs. I mean, most people have the uh, the XL and the new 3DS. Um, keep the new 3DS. The XL is only going to be worth, uh, not going to be worth that much, but probably knock 80 quid off the price. Mm. Maybe seventy. At, at worst, you always be buy one later because I'll be dirt cheap. Oh yeah, yeah, 3DS is already cheap. I mean, like you can pick up a um. 2DS for like a 2DS 40 for like forty quid. Um, yeah, definitely, I'd recommend that. Yeah. Um, next question is. If you go, well, if you go out a half pass, like there's like only four points left. Yeah. Why do we still so? Why do we still know so, <coughs> know so little? Uh, and it's launching in less than two weeks, which is what we. We'll, I think we'll pretty much skip over that because we've talked. We've, yeah, we've talked. I. I mean, it's it's pretty much, in terms of a playable console. Like, a lot of people are like, saying they didn't show the UI, and it got leaked, and it's unfair, you know, they should have showed the UI. I don't think they should have showed the UI. They've shown it a bit in videos before, it's not like... And it's, you know, buy a console for its UI. And it's so simple, that it's understandable why they're like, well, you know, you'll know. You'll know when you get it. Hey, you switch it on, press a button, it Boom, so slick. Um, specs, Nintendo was never going to give us, they give us them anyway, we'll get them later. Uh, future games, yet again, E3. Mm. Uh, um, virtual console, like I said, they're probably developing the titles at the moment for it. But then the next thing, grey or neon? <sighs> Fucking hell! Neon. Neon. Uh, it can, neon looks dumb in pictures, but looks really muted in person. It's really cool. <laughs> yeah, neon light. I would get the pro neon. controller. Yeah, on it. Yep. It's. Uh, I mean, oh sorry. That. Uh, let me rephrase that. Pro controller day one. Yeah, on a. Nay. Uh, but, unless you really feel like you need it for Zelda, because the Joy-Con grips are really but comfortable. I would definitely recommend getting it for like Splatoon. Splatoon, it's going to be good for. Um, Mario, 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 Odyssey. Mario Odyssey is probably going to be good for. I mean, it's it'd be really good for Zelda as well. I mean, it's your personal preference, but it's worth getting. But don't think it's a necessity at launch. The, the the grips are very comfortable and they work fine. 
last question. What will the e-store look like come March 3rd? Uh, Snipper cl say... Snip uh, Snipperclips, Binding Very... of Isaac, I Am Setsuna, um, digital copy of Breath of the Wild, digital copy of all the other games that come out on launch. Um, yeah. Mario 1. Yeah, a couple of basic Mario NES games. Maybe Mario 64. <laughs> I think if they, if, yeah, may, uh, possibly. We all want sunshine, but it's probably not happening. And if it did happen, I think not talking about it is either genius, sorry, is either retarded or genius. No, Nintendo, they probably think it's genius, but it'll probably end up retarded. Well, no, 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 well, no think, about it, think about it from the consumer perspective of you. You don't know this. You go on the e-store. Oh, what's on VC? What? Mario Sunshine, 20 pack, instant buy. Yeah, it's Everyone true. swamps the Reddit, floods the internet with it. Free advertising. I mean, that's just wish fulfillment for me. Uh, but yeah, I think it's going to be pretty barren. Anyway, now, because we just about have enough time to do it, because you seem to be under the impression that it would take half an hour to do that, is I'll, that... I'll say that for discussion for next week. I'll, no, dude, come on. It's like, it's not... Okay, go. Right, real quick. All 28 one two switch mini games have been revealed. What we're going to really quickly do is we're going to take a guess about what you've got to do for each one without knowing anything of them. Obviously, for some of them we played them, some of them we said trailers for. So uh, I'm just going to make up for ones I already know. I haven't even got the list up. I've got it. Don't worry. I, 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 that's even better. I'll just tell you. Okay. Uh, okay. Telephone. I've seen this one, so you guess. Um, you have to put the Joy-Con up to your ear and hit get. Understand the message or something. Um, it's kind of like um, quick draw. You put your Joy Cons facing on the table, and then you I wait for the ring. And f first one to pick up the phone. Uh, okay. Ball count. Um, it's some horrible BDSM shit. Don't know what Nintendo's okay, doing with it. Tell me. Just tell me the name. Let me guess. Ball. Um, is that pretty much how many ball? Is it like marble game? Yeah, yeah, that's the marble game. Okay. Uh, Zen. I think that's. Is that is Zen the yoga one? When you I think like, I think Zen's the yoga one. Yeah. When you have to like do your shave, when your mate has your, your other person has to do the same thing. Yeah, this is sounding to to be pretty fun on launch day, but just for launch day. Treasure chest. Oh god. Oh, I've, that's um. I don't know. I don't know that one. Um. Shit. Uh, what do you think it is? Uh, maybe it's it's. I mean, this. Fuck. I don't know. I can't guess. It's so vague. Uh, milk. Uh, you, uh, j you jack a cow off. Pretty much. Uh, safe crack. I, I think you like turn. Use yeah, the that's gyro. The, that's the gyro. You, you, and you like, feel that use the haptics to feel the clicks. Yeah. I think that's gonna be fucking neat. I think that's gonna be better than the uh, ball count for that. Quick draw is obviously the one we've already played already. Samurai training, I believe, is when one person chooses when to swing down. And the other person has to block at the right time and catch the blade. Yeah. Uh, sneaky dice is I'm. It's liar's dice. Yeah. This makes the game more worth it. Liar's dice is a fucking amazing game, and I will make sure we do at least twenty rounds of it. I wonder if one two switch, you can pick your mini games, or just come up random. I think it's random. Have you played liar's dice before, like the in yeah. person? Yeah. That is an amazing game, um, but I don't think it's. It, but it's. I think it's a simplified version. Uh, where it's you have to basically get uh, you know you say oh I have three dice and they have four di uh, four dice it's like a simplified version of that so we won't be playing it as much because it's, it's 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 less interesting now that I think about it but you know it's interesting signal flags I think is Simon says yeah uh, soda shake is jacking off a bottle of coke yeah shave thirteen Joy-Con rotation. That's the fake shaving game, isn't it? Yeah, you've probably got to shave yourself. Fastest to shave, don't cut yourself, don't move it too fast. Table tennis is table tennis by sound, which I'm really interested if it works. I've heard it does. Um, yeah. Baby. Oh, that's that weird ass one, isn't it? Baby is a game that I am very looking forward to play because I don't think it's a game at all. I think it's a life experience. Use protection. Use protection, guys. Uh, fake draw. I'm assuming they mean more of the drawing of pictures rather than the drawing of, you know, quick draw. Yeah. I don't know what that is. That's interesting. Baseball 18. Oh, right. 
Okay, the, the person's got shit formatting. Shave is its own game, Joy-Con rotation is its other game. And Joy-Con rotation is probably just gonna be you have to rotate this Joy-Con. Uh, baseball is apparently home run derby. The person uh, chooses a um, like a, either a fastball, a curveball, or a screwball, or whatever on the Joy-Con. Then they throw it, and then you hear it, and you have to hit it. I don't know how that's gonna work. Um, eating contest is show how fast you can open and close that dirty mouth of yours. Very quickly. <laughs> uh, beach flag, uh, I'm hoping is not just signal flags, but on the beach. Uh, wizard is you literally do the Harry Potter duel when you like flick it and then the, you know, the, um, you connect, you cross the streams and you have that push back and forth. Yeah. That actually sounds pretty neat. Uh, sword fight. I've heard different things about it. I think it's rock, paper, scissors in a way, like you block. I mean, you swing and then you stab, and hopefully it will have you know longer than five second gameplay, than like be some of the others. I'm I'm in, I'm interested in sword fight, boxing gym. Uh, I think that's a single player one. Ooh. Some of these are single player. Are they? Yeah. Uh, maybe that's just uh, Wii boxing, because arms isn't Wii boxing. <laughs> uh, plate spin. I'm assuming is you twirl the Joy-Con and it's to show how accurate the twirling is. Run away. Uh, I'm hoping it's not you just shake the Joy-Con up and down, but probably that's run away. Mm. It might be a one-player one as well, when you like, use both of them and you like run fast. Uh, air guitar. I mean, self-explanatory. Dance off is a poor man's just dance. And gorilla. What the fuck's gorilla? I don't... I don't know. I really don't. All that I know is that this was taken from a live stream that GameSpot did. All I would know is we will know in less than two weeks. Yes, we will. We will know in less than two weeks. And that's why we'll not be watching this video that shows every single one of the every single one of them. Uh, but yeah, so that's one to switch. Um, the mini games sound like they range from stupid to actually kind of fun. Yeah, I, I'm still. Con <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, oh. wait a minute. How much are you? Were you buying it from? Or oh, was buying it from Amazon? Yeah. Will we get that? I don't think we'll get that day one uh, midnight for the midnight launch, though, will we? Yeah. I'm probably gonna get it from game. Get it from game. Then we'll trade it in for Barman, and then I guess if you want, you can keep the. If it's fun, then you can keep the uh, thirty-five pound copy one. True. One give you the other copy. Well, no, because you'd sell the other one, wouldn't you, to get oh, yeah, bomber? <laughs> so, yeah. Um... Well, we're not going to carry on talking now for like two hours. No, 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 no. I mean, we've already uh, we've already reached like the 45 minute mark, which is around kind of what we uh, want to do. Also, apparently Suda51 uh, has an idea for a Mario game. Maybe we'll cover yeah, that next and time. He's, and he's apologised for the... He's, a, he's, a, he's apologised for the... Uh, the guy, uh, his, him, he, he went off script, apparently. And uh, the guy didn't get sacked, actually. The guy got, um, I think, a raise. <laughs> yeah, because we wasn't able to take a piss, because like, a day after that announcement, Nintendo were hired for a new translator. And everyone thought... Nintendo. Yeah, no, no. He got, like... Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure he got, like, something. He got, he got rewarded or something because of how well he dealt with the situation. Yeah, because I'd love to have just been... I'd love to have been you. Because you'd be like... You'd be like, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> Honto? Uh, Honto desu ka? What are you talking about, mate? <laughs> Eto! Buy a PlayStation 4, you say? Buy a PlayStation 4, you say? What are you saying that, Suda? Uh, anyway, so that was the podcast for the week. Sorry about the shit background. Uh, blame Alex. Um, blame you, you, you can't. Oh, I, I don't do graphics. Uh, the site is launching in two weeks? Well, it's launching... launching. Well, it, it, look, it's launching the night of the Nintendo Switch. Night of the Nintendo Switch launch. There'll be actually quite a few articles up there. Hopefully. Hopefully there. Yeah. So the media company give me the money they owe me for the last month. <laughs> but, but we're not mentioning any names, obviously. All that I'm saying is that it's also a euphemism for a uh, very endowed African-American. Like myself. <laughs> what, you're black? <laughs> black Jesus. Da, 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 da. I'm actually going to end that there because that's funny.